YouTubers, it's Cheating the System 21 with another video. Yes, it's not a lie. There is a super easy way to downgrade your PSP or unbreak your PSP with Pandora's battery. And I created this uh, file here just by basically taking the files of a totally finished um, Pandora's battery and uploading it on my computer then uploading it on mega upload and you'll see a link in the description and unlike the mp4 converter there will be a link there is a link alright now if you click on the link it should take you to mega upload dot com and there if you see it says pandora's battery super easy dot zip it's a very small file fairly anyway all you have to do if you've never used mega upload before is type in that in capital letters there and then hit download and then just hit OK um so I've already got it uploaded onto my computer there it is right there okay uh, so I'm just gonna open that up <clears throat> okay so you'll see two files memory stick and a readme the README you don't actually have to read unless you find this tutorial unsuccessful. Alright, so the first step we're going to do is get our PSPs. What we're going to want to do with our PSPs is go to Format Memory Stick. Now make sure before you do this step, you upload all your files onto your computer so you can put them back on your memory stick so you don't lose all your saved data. And if you were wondering, I do have custom firmware now. So, if you're wondering why my logos were different, that's why. Then, after that, you're going to put your PSP into USB mode, or just put your memory stick right into the computer, whichever you prefer. And then you should see a whole bunch of folders. Now, you don't have to do this step, but it helps. Take across and delete every single folder. And it's not for space. It's just, you have to do it. We don't have to do it, but it helps sometimes with the Pandora's battery. Now, whether you did that step or not, go into the zip that you downloaded from Mega Upload. Okay, you'll see a whole bunch of folders. Simply drag and drop them into the root of your memory stick. And the PSP folder, all you'll have to do is open that up and put it in your game folder. So, oh, and just so you know, um, you will have to have either a custom firmware PSP or a 1.5 firmware PSP to do this. As you can see, I now have all of those folders into the root of my memory stick, and I did not delete all the folders, but you didn't have to do that. Okay, so now what you want to do is take your PSP out of USB mode. Okay. Now, go over to the game folder. There we are. And where's that thing? Ah, right there. Pandora's Battery Creator. Open that up. Now when it's loaded, you will see this. Hit the X button to turn your battery into a Pandora's battery. That's right, it was that easy. Done. Wait for it to exit. Now turn your PlayStation off, remove your memory stick and your battery. What you want to do first is put your memory stick right back in there. Then you have to do the memory stick first. Then put your battery in there. You will see these lights flashing if it has been done correctly. There you go. And there it is. That's the PS that's the Pandora's battery menu. Hit X to downgrade your PSP. Your time is up, my time is now. now. You can't see me, my time is now. now. It's the what you have to do to remake your Pandora's battery into a normal one. Plug in power, 
without the battery and then your PSP will start normally okay open this again Pandora's battery creator but before you do that put the Pandora's battery back in alright there it is I put it back in it's charging now so I'm doing this to turn it back into a normal battery alright so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit square then turn it off turn it back on again there you go now your Pandora's battery is not a Pandora's battery any longer. It's the franchise will shine now, now. You can't see me, my time is now. In case you forgot or fell off, I'm still hot knocking.